Hello friends, welcome to Course Lab. In this lesson, we will see how to deploy our time leaf application, which we created in lesson two um, onto Heroku. Heroku is nothing but a PaaS application, PaaS, it's a platform as a service where we can deploy our applications onto the cloud and view that. So Heroku provides a free uh, Dino, they call it Dino um, for it's a kind of uh, cloud environment for us so that we can deploy our applications and it is available for available for everyone. So they pro it will not charge. They'll not. It's a free and it uh, you need not, uh, it is not charged. Just register yourself with Heroku, and here I have registered uh, myself with Heroku. Okay, for f free Dino, it's a uh, uh, there is no charge and you need to dep you need to install uh, Heroku CLI on your PC. Um, so for um, for Mac, it's a brew install Heroku. Um, so this one, this command will um, install Heroku on the uh, command line. On uh, once it is installed, you will get uh, Heroku command, which can be used to start the application and um, and and also l monitor the application the logs so before that I, this is our project uh, this is our project and if you have any git um, already set up uh, for this project just remove because if you might have cloned this um, project from some git repository so just remove that so so that it will not conflict with the Heroku git and just remove that and before that we need to log into the Heroku the command is so I have already installed this com, uh, CLI so I'm just using that Heroku login my SI so this will prompt you to log into Heroku so I'll just use my credential yeah now if you see this is, I'm logged into the Heroku um, through CLI but I already logged in um, UI uh, I mean through the browser uh, but uh, yeah, I want to push this code to the Heroku so and start my application onto the Heroku so just let's get started. So first, I need to I need to add or add this part project to Heroku. So the command is git add dot. Sorry. First, git in it, then. Git add, then git commit because I have deleted dot git, so I need to do init and then add. So git commit, I'm giving the message commit. So I have committed um, my application now. So this application is pushed into the uh, sorry, it is in the still in the local. Um, it has to be pushed into the Heroku. Before that, I'll create an application um, on the uh, Heroku. It's like Heroku create timely Spring Boot course. This is an application that I want to create on the Heroku. So, so this application is created. It is ready, but uh, there is nothing um, set up for this application. If you go to the um, website. I just reload that this are my dashboard so the application is created but nothing is there so we need to push our code so that Heroku will start our application so so to push the code I just push the code git it's simple git push so what this does is this pushes the code to the Heroku Git repository and then 
it recognizes the heroku recognizes it's a um it's a gradle um, project it will use this gradle and build the guild project and then deploy that but if you see here it's trying to install 1.8 yeah we'll see the error but um, it is trying to install 1.8 but our project is based on 1.11 jdk 11 so this has to fail because it could not find the 1.8 so let's see how it goes here so just go to the project and then there is an activity and then in inside activity you can see what is happening so just see the build logs it has failed it has failed to deploy or it has failed to build so the error you can see here this is a, a failure um, so you can see here invalid source resource release 11 so we have mentioned um, I'll just bring my eclipse here so if you see here we said Java 11 but Hiroku by default comes with Java 8 and so it could not install that so we need to see, we need to inform um, Hiroku that it's 11 not 8 so for that we need to there is a way we need to create um, system dot properties it's system dot properties and say I want runtime version Java runtime version 11 okay. set save so git add so every time any changes to your project has to be pushed into uh, Heroku git so I'm adding git commit and then this pops. This will ensure that um, this will ensure that um, Heroku uses Java 11 instead of 8. So I'm pushing the changes to the Heroku git. So if you see here, it detects it. Gradle app detector, Spring Boot detector. So these are all detected automatically. And then if you see here, now it's installing Java 11. So installing Java 11, it is done. And then looks like application has started. Let's go see here. So looks like view build progress. You can see what is happening here. So there is still a problem. There is some problem still. So it's not started. Looks like it's not started. Let's see what is happening with that. Um, so we can see the logs of the our application. Okay. It says build is successful. Okay. Yeah. It looks like build is successful and it is deployed. Let's go to our application is here. This is our application, which is accessible on the so let's go and see oh there is an application error so the application is deployed but there is an application error which we can see what is that it's nothing to do with the Heroku but it's an application error let's see yeah okay so it says that uh, it's not able to find the so look it's not able it's not able to find the um, I think it's not able to find the main file main class sorry main class see here no main I mean manifest attribute found so um, this uh, looks like something problem with our build process so it is creating two looks like some jars okay let's build locally let's build let's build and see what is happening so it is picking this a snapshot plain dot jar so let's see what is happening with this jar why it's not able to start 
okay so if you go to the build So you see there are two jars it's a, it's a default i use default uh, gradle and there are two jars one is plain and one is snapshot looks like it is picking this one and let's see what is there inside and why it's i just list that so there is no manifest file so that's the reason it's failing looks like and also if you see that there is no dependencies no it's not uber jar so it's spring boot all the dependencies are bundled together and i think that the other jar should have that yeah this is the right jar it has to use but somehow it's um it's using this one and we should not create two jars and looks like that is a problem so for this there is a solution so we'll go to build.gradle and so we need to say what is a manifest so i'll say the manifest file to create a manifest file we'll say jar what jar and enable for then here we give the main class what is the main class that we are using so just i'll just save this one you can see that so this file i need to add it yeah and push it to the heroku git commit and updated build file so i'll just push this changes so this will push the new changes so every push will result in a build deploy so it is pushing match changes back to the heroku and then heroku is building detected it's a java 11 gradle and then it's building and then deploy so this whole process will take take place whenever you push something into the something into your application looks like it deployed so let's go see here in the activity this activity gives some information about what is happening with your application but it doesn't give any metrics like what is the traffic to your application but it's only gives um or what is the de uh, deployment and then build looks like it's all clear it's deployed now let's go and see your application yeah here is the application so this is what we built in lesson two and it is deployed on Hiroko and this is available on timely spring boot course here app so now you are ready you can do similar thing to deploy your application so we can also check the logs so our, our logs okay so if you see this one will tail the log application so these are spring boot applications which we have deployed onto Heroku. Yeah, that's it. So the, we, we didn't do any changes. We just made two changes, mainly to say it is a, this is the main class and then to add manifest to the build jar. And we also added the system dot properties. These are the changes for our application and then pushed into the Heroku and then it is ready. On the Heroku and then it can be accessed or the internet yeah that's it for from this lesson thanks for watching we'll see you in the next lesson